Hey, December babies. So I'm back, my December babies, okay? Well, I'm back, guys, okay, you, everybody, but this is for my December babies. Okay, now, I'm gonna be talking very explicitly, very explicitly, okay? So if you're around your children, please get away from your children. If you have AirPods, please put them in, okay? If you are under the age of 18, please get the fuck out of my video. I check on all my videos that my videos are not for children, okay? So YouTube knows that. So if you guys are watching my vid my videos and you guys are younger than 18, if your parents confront me and have a problem with me ever at any point in my life for the content that I post, you know what I'm gonna tell your parents? Well, maybe you should be monitoring your kids a little bit better because my videos say not for children. So why is children watching my videos? Because you as the parent is not watching your child. You see how it all plays hand in hand? Anyways, I hope all is well. Like I said, we're gonna get into the sex reading. I'm really excited because I've been working really hard for like the past three to four fucking days on these readings, okay? And um, <laughs> this is this is the last one, okay? But look, we saved the best for last, okay? My Sagittarius, my my, uh, my my North Node is in Sagittarius, okay? So I love Sagittariuses, and this is not about zodiac signs or anything. But obviously, if you were born in December or whatever, as, as, wherever you were born in December, possibly you are Sagittarius, okay? So shout out to the Sagittarius energy. Also, one 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 on the timer. Continue to use your intuition uh, and use your skills of discernment. Also, my mother, <laughs> my mother's a Sagittarius, okay? So uh, I love my mother as well. Shout out to the Sagittariuses, okay? I ain't, I ain't got no beef with y'all, okay? Nikki is a Sagittarius. Little Baby is a Sagittarius. The Baby is a Sagittarius. Big Lotto is a Sagittarius. There's a lot of people that are Sagittariuses, and they're really dope people, okay? So shout out to those people. Uh, those are just the main people that popped up in my head. Let's get into this reading, okay? I already pulled cards. I got 20 cards on the board, okay? First card here is... Uh, Somebody is gonna be, this is, this is somebody that you recently left. Okay, this is a masculine energy, okay? Maybe some of y'all are gonna get married soon or some shit like that. Um, but this person, this card came out in reverse, okay? So what I see here is that this masculine here that you left in the past, because that's where the fuck they belong. They're, they're a past asshole, period. So stay in the fucking past. And um, you left them because they wasn't loving you right. They wasn't fucking you right. They wasn't treating you right. They wasn't licking you right. You know, they wasn't catering to you, right? They wasn't caressing you, right? They wasn't respecting you, right? They wasn't doing nothing right. So you decided to walk away and, and move into happy, happy land with your new lover, okay? So God is proud of you. God is saying, God bless, okay? Take good care of that new love. And also, yeah, this person here, they just mad. Yeah, they just mad. Like, like they're trying to write you letters and this and that. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Please come back, blah, blah, blah. God said it's a fuck no. Yeah, so first card on the board, God is saying a fuck no to these exes, these motherfuckers in the past that's trying to pull up on you and shit like that. They're trying to make something out of nothing and it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. You're not going to make anything, okay? Because it's nothing. Once something is nothing, it's just that. It's nothing. So you're not going to make something. Period. This is just this is just not that time for that. It's not. It's not the time, place, person, or, or moment. It's just not. So let's keep going. So okay, this is my morning sex and my 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 late night sex. So you guys, the couples out there, yeah, confirmation. You heard the horn. So you couples out there, my God, the people that are married in relationships, even the situationships. Okay, I ain't gonna leave y'all out. Um, y'all love having morning sex. Okay, so spirit says keep doing that. Yeah, keep having that good morning night. Okay, that good morning session. You know, sex is beautiful, guys. Make it a make it make it art. You know, make it a, a perfect picture. You know what I'm saying? Um, of just releasing that tension, that stress, and, and just man, getting those frustrations out with each other, and um, pouring into that love. You know, into the relationship. Um, so keep having that morning sex and those late night sessions because I know some of y'all, y'all can't have like afternoon and evening sessions because y'all have kids, y'all have businesses that y'all have to run. You know, y'all are always running errands, shit like that. So it's very important to get a session in early, early in the morning and then late, late at night. Okay. So spirit is saying, God bless, keep doing that. Now the next card that's coming out here is my cuddling card. Let me cover her nipple. Okay. So this is the next card that's coming out. This is my cuddling card. So y'all love to cuddle, okay? Y'all like to be naked in the bed, okay? And y'all like to snuggle up with each other. Maybe y'all was watching a movie, okay? Maybe y'all watching a series. Y'all love watching a series together. God is saying keep doing that, okay? Because these are your intimate moments. You know, everything is not about sex as well in the relationship. You guys should also be having those intimate moments where you can just lay down and just rest and, and cuddle up. You see what I'm saying? So, um... 
Spia God is saying keep doing that. And then, um, okay, the next, okay. The next card that's coming out is my fucking on a swing card. So some of y'all want to fuck on a swing, literally. Um, if not like a swing at the park, because you know, you can't be out there amongst those children, but maybe y'all guys want to go to like a private island or some private destination where they have like, you know, those swing. I think I've seen it and cause I watched a lot of vlog, like traveling vlogs and stuff. And I think it's in, um, I think it's in Jamaica and I think it's in, um, Bali, I think it's in Jamaica and Bali. I think they have these swings that are connected to the trees and you can get you can get on there. You know, the Gola girls, they like taking Instagram pictures and shit like that, you know, capturing the moments, God bless. But your masculine, he wants to fuck you on that swing. Yeah, he wants to sit down first. You sit on his lap, okay? And really sit on that dick. And he really wants you to he wants you to fuck him so good on a swing. So y'all haven't done this yet, okay? Because the car came out in reverse, okay? So um God is saying, just be safe, okay? God knows y'all crazy as fucking freaky, freakily, okay? Freakily, Monique, Christina, Shalonda, hey, freakily, okay? Shout out to Little John, that's Little John, right? Uh, but yeah, your masculine wants to fuck you on a swing. Spirit is saying, be open to that, try new things, okay? You don't know if you like something until you try it. And also, Spirit just has this main message here. Long as you are safe, happy, and healthy, you can, you can, you, you're free to explore, okay? Safe, happy, and healthy. You're free to explore and have fun and do the things you need to do with your loved ones, okay? Because that keeps the, when y'all try new things, you have to understand. When y'all try new things, you guys are um, opening up like your palate of your, of your sexual, of your, of your sexuality and of your, and of your sexual level, you know? See me, I'm on a professional level, even though I never have sex on a swing. I, I would love to, you know? But um, as far as I know what to do, you know what I'm saying? I know like once I get, once I'm able to get to these moments with my lover, like, once me and my lover get to the swing, oh, it's on and popping. We're going to fuck on the swing. You see what I'm saying? It's like once I get to these certain destinations and I'm able to be in these certain environments and, and, and you know, I, I have these resources, me and my lover, we're going to be fucking everywhere, okay? Every which way, I don't give a fuck. And we're going to make sure that it's safe, healthy, and happy. You understand? These are the three things you need to keep in mind with your sex life, okay? So, yeah, so y'all want to have sex on a swing. So God is just saying, be safe because y'all know y'all can get arrested, right? If y'all have, um, if y'all get caught fucking outside, okay? That is, that's, that's no bueno, you know what I'm saying? In the eyes of the law. But God says, be safe. Wink, wink. <laughs> so, okay. Some of y'all are into, I don't know what this, I got to look it up. It's, what is the kink where you guys are obsessed with hair? You love hair. You love the hair on top of your person's head. You like hairy arms. You like hairy pussies, hairy dicks. You like hairy legs, hairy assholes. Some of y'all love hair, okay? So what I see here is the masculine energy wants the feminine energy. And I don't care how you guys identify. He, she, them, they, they're. Listen, apply it where it resonates. I don't get down to all of that, all right? That, that's for y'all to figure it out. That's why I say, use your intuition, ho. Use your intuition, okay? So um, the masculine energy wants the feminine to lay down, and um, he wants her titties He wants her titties free. He, he wants her to lay down naked, okay? He wants her hair to be natural, and he wants to cut your hair. Yeah, the hair on top of your head. He wants to cut it. Not cut you, cut it bald, but he wants, maybe he just wants to like, I don't know, like some of y'all masculines, y'all don't know this. I'm actually blowing up their fucking secrets. Yeah, masculines, I'm telling. Cause y'all, why y'all, come on y'all, you got one wife to live. Come on, your partner should know what you like, what you don't like. Things you wanna try, what you would never try. You see what I'm saying? So I'm here to tell y'all business, okay? <laughs> Period. So, <laughs> So the masculine wants to cut you guys' hair, okay? The feminine energy. They want you to lay down on your back, okay? Titties out, pussy out, arms up, just free, laying on the bed. And some of y'all have really uh, curly hair or you like to wear curly wigs, whatever, okay? I see the, the girl here. It doesn't have to be, though. The girl here in the picture, she has curly red hair. Maybe some of y'all are even redheads, okay? I even see some of y'all are like a CD cup. She has a very, she has beautiful titties here, this girl. Some of y'all even have implants because her titties are very, like, they're sitting up just like porn star titties, okay? And um, my God, the masculine, he just wants to cut your hair, not cut it all off like he's a fucking maniac. He wants to just like trim the edges. I don't know, y'all. He's obsessed with your hair, okay? So some of y'all are dealing with masculine. They have a hair fetish, okay? They probably be shaving y'all pussies too. 
<laughs> and your ass because they just love your hair. They do. Okay, so the next card uh, coming on the board is coming out in the upright. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so, yeah. Wow, this card never came out. Yeah, this is a very significant special reading. Shout out to y'all, my, my uh, December babies, okay? The feminine is laid out on the couch, naked. And the masculine, he laid fruit all on the couch and all over her body. She has strawberries on her pussy. She has apples between her breasts. Confirmation. She has fruit, um, she has grapes, okay? Um, in her hand, she's feeding the masculine. Okay. What the masculine wants to do to the feminine. They simply want you guys to feed each other fruits. They want to eat the strawberries off your pussy. They want to bite the apple between your breasts. They want to, and, 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 and while they're doing that, they want you to feed them grapes, okay? So God bless. Maybe some of y'all already do this or y'all want to do this. Spirit says, that's perfectly fine. Do y'all, okay? Happy, healthy, safety, period, okay? So, okay, the next card here coming out, okay. This is my small person card. Shout out to the little people, the li I mean little people. Shout out to the little people, okay? I see here a heterosexual couple, and they love to bring a little person in the bedroom, okay? Now, listen, man, y'all are some freaks. Y'all bringing the little person in the bedroom, okay? And shit, I would love to watch. Can y'all invite me? Invite me to just, I just want to watch, okay? Because that's interesting, okay? I, ain't, I never watch little person porn, okay? So I'm like, wow, that's, that's so unique. Like, that's so different, okay? And I would just love to see it, okay, period? So, um, yeah, so y'all like to bring a little person in the bedroom. Y'all also like to use ropes, um, ribbons, strings, and y'all like to wrap each other's bodies up my god with these ribbons and stuff like that as y'all as y'all are also you know it's a threesome with a little person and y'all like to also bring in ribbons strings and ropes and tie each other up so that's uh that's incredible okay <laughs> some of y'all are already doing it because it came out in the upright but um if you're not spirit is saying be open be open to trying new things if you never fuck the little person listen they just like average size people they just a little person you know what I'm saying they got pussies ass fat and they got fat asses so shout out to the little the little people Okay, because y'all asses is fat. Okay, period. <laughs> so yeah, some of y'all love fat asses. So the fact that I just emphasized on that, yeah, y'all love a fat ass. Okay, Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's either you're an ass man, a titty man, or both. Okay, you know, God bless. Okay, so the next card here coming out is okay. Yeah, some of y'all be fucking outside in nature, out in the open. Okay. And um, a couple times y'all got caught, okay? Y'all got caught. Now, let me just give you some advice if this, when, if or when this happens, okay? Y'all need to just build each other's confidence back up because it's one thing to fuck in the pub public, in, in the public, yeah. It's one thing to fuck in the public in the open, right? But it's another thing to do it and actually get caught, okay? Now, when you guys get caught, some of y'all um, have a little insecurities about your bodies, you know? You have stretch marks, you have your mommy belly, your fupa, you know, um, you know, some of the men, some of the men have stretch marks, they're fat, whatever, right? God bless. We all have beautiful, unique beauties about ourselves. We need to love ourselves, okay? I got a gut. I'll tell you that all the time. I've been trying to get rid of this gut since, since, since I had my daughter. It still ain't going nowhere, okay? <laughs> okay, period. So I just learned to love my gut and appreciate my gut and just take better care of my gut by drinking um, lots of water and I'm um, detoxing and drinking um, and eating fruits and vegetables, okay? That's how you take care of your gut, FYI, okay? A little little health, let's throw a little uh, healthy tips in there about your body. Um, so yeah, if y'all are getting caught out there fucking in, um, in the public, some of y'all have those insecurities, okay? What you need to do is, as soon as y'all get caught, okay, you need to immediately lift your person up. Baby, it's okay. Like, it's okay that they see us. Like, you look good as fuck. You sexy as fuck. That's my big daddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me suck that dick word. And for the for the masculines to the feminines, too, like, you need to tell her, baby, you look good. Like, that bitch is looking at us, whatever. That You look way 10 times better than that bitch. You the baddest bitch walking here on the earth. That pussy good. That ass is fat. Them titties is perfect. Yeah. You fuck me good. You know, I would never leave you. Okay? I would never cheat on you. I, I, I. You, you my queen. You, you my wife. I, I, I. All right, so you have to, you have to uplift your lovers. That's all I'm saying. So this is my, this is my uplifting card, okay? When some of y'all be getting caught fucking out there, you need to quickly uplift your lover because they can feel insecure, okay? It's one thing when you're having sex with, with your lover, but it's another thing when y'all get caught and there's a complete stranger 
that seen you guys, okay? So, okay, ooh, la la la. The next card is coming out as my lesbian card. Okay, shout out to my lesbians. Okay, period. Okay, so there's three feminines here. They're in like a garden, like a private garden in a backyard or something like that. It looks very fucking fan. Maybe some of y'all even visited like visited the vineyard and the, those wine tasting places. It looks very elegant, very, oh my God, just very high class. And um, they have these private gardens. So, okay, so maybe some of y'all visit these places. And um, yeah, y'all go there. Y'all go to these places and y'all are just naked. Y'all become one with the trees, one with the grass and shit, one with the flowers. Y'all out there with the butterflies and the bees. Yeah, y'all are fairies. Okay, period. Look up fairies if you don't know what that is. And um, yeah, y'all just love to admire not only your own beauty because you know that the woman's, be the woman's body is the ultimate beauty. Okay, I don't give a fuck what shape, size, skin color. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. The woman's body is the ultimate beauty here that God has ever made. It's even more beautiful than the male's body because it's a woman. You understand? You have to understand this is a woman's world. This is the woman's earth. This is mother nature here. You all came from a woman's pussy. If your mother didn't put, cut, uh, push you out and get, get cut open for your ass, None of us would be here. It all started with the mother, period. I don't give a fuck. So, um, yeah, y'all are beautiful, okay? So y'all love to go to these private gardens and you, you and your, your lesbian lovers, okay? Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. I don't fucking know. But I do know that y'all first start off addressing. Then y'all admire yourself, you know? Touch yourself, fill yourself up, play with your own pussy. And then it turns into an all-out orgy, you understand? And y'all love that shit. God is saying keep doing that shit. As long as it's safe, happy, healthy, period. The rest is fucking history. All right, now we got this dickhead here coming out in the fucking reverse. Okay, we got this magician uh, energy coming out in reverse. This magician energy could be any sign. This person is pissed. Okay, this person is pissed because you are now a lesbian. Some of y'all have just turned lesbian. And this person is also pissed because you got a new lover, okay, that loves the fuck out of you, fucks you good and all that, give you whatever you want, okay, period. And then, um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then, um, you guys also have moved on. Yeah, y'all also moved on to your new love, okay? So congratulations. Some of y'all are getting married and shit like that. Um, you're about to plan your wedding. God bless. Congratulations. Yeah, so this person, he's just coming out. Look at him. Yeah, he's just mad. Okay, looking like he want to start a war and shit. But he came out in reverse because he can't do shit. Okay, bye. Period. So, um, okay. So what's coming out? The next card is coming out is the Three of Swords. Okay. Yeah, also more jealousy. Now you got this witch here. Some of y'all have a a, a like a stepmother, an auntie, a mother, a mother-in-law, a grandma, somebody that's jealous of your guys' relationships for the lovers out there. This person is so fucking jealous. You know, they're jealous of the sex y'all got, the type of love y'all got, how y'all love each other so much, and y'all are always there for each other, and how sexy the feminine looks. She looks, she wishes she looks like that. I mean, this is fucking sad, okay? Uh, this woman here, she whoever she is in y'all life, she never loves herself, all right? She, she looks at everybody else as competition, and as, oh, this bitch thinks she's this and that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, all y'all are doing is being yourselves. You see what I'm saying? But this bitch is, uh, she's jealous, okay? But yeah, it came out in reverse because um, she can't do shit. All right, look, it came out in reverse. You see the witch over there? Yeah, she can't do shit. It came out in the reverse. So God is saying, don't worry about this witch and don't worry about this sicko. Okay, confirmation, you hit a, you hit a beep. Confirmation. God is saying that these people can't do shit. Okay, so just continue to live your best life, period. Okay, so we have, um, oh, I love this card. So some of y'all want to fuck against, I'm sorry for the background noise. This must be very significant here. Yeah, yeah, spiritual warfare. So um, some of y'all want to fuck on a tree, literally. You want your masculine to be leaned up against the tree. You want to wear a beautiful sundress. Some of y'all have long black hair. You don't have to. You don't have to have long black hair, though, but I'm, I'm just seeing what I see in the car. Y'all have sexy long legs. Some of y'all from the, the height of 5'7 to like 6 feet, very long, tall, and luscious, okay? And um, you have nice breasts. You have a. You don't have the fattest ass. You know, you actually have a little ass, but it, it's cute. It's cute on you. It's your ass, period. So, um, yeah, your masculine uh, wants to w w take a walk with you, like, through the, through the forest and through, the, through Mother Nature and shit. And um, they want to lean up against the tree, and they want to they want to suck your titties. They want to kiss you, suck your titties, and they want to slide their hands up under your dress. So some of y'all, your masculines want you to wear easy, accessible clothes. They want you to wear dresses. 
um, you know, little black numbers and, you know, easy, easy shit that you can slip on, slip off. He, he can put his hand under there, play with your pussy. He can easily pop your titties out and get some milk. Okay. Drink up daddy. Yup. You thirsty. Drink this fucking milk period. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is what y'all want to do. Y'all want to fuck against the tree period. So go do that. Cause it came out in reverse. So when it comes out in reverse, that means that y'all are not doing this right now. And this is things that y'all want to do. Okay. So, yeah, we have another reverse card. The card that's coming out is my, my passionate kissing card, okay? Some of y'all um, are not big and big um, big into, like, kissing, okay? You don't, you're not the biggest kisser, okay? You you do kiss your lover, you know, but they, they want you to kiss them more. I don't know whose energy this is. Y'all got to apply where it resonates. I don't know if it's the masculine or the feminine that wants more kisses, okay? They want... That they want that tongue action, okay? They they want to kiss your fucking face off, but maybe the other partner is not that big into kissing. So um, God is saying that you guys need to work it out. Yeah, this is between you guys. You guys have to work this out. You know, you knew that you got with your person, and your person loved to kiss. So why are you treating them like that? This is what God is saying. So yeah, you have to kiss your partner, okay? You cannot when you deny your partner to touch you, to love you, to fuck you, to kiss you. You know. You're denying your person love, and this is not okay, all right? So God is saying, please work it out so you guys can continue to have the greatest sex ever. <laughs> okay, now another reversal card. Okay, we have... No, it came out in the upright. I don't know if this came out in reverse. No, yeah, this, is, this was reversed. It doesn't have a number on it, though. That's why I was confused. But this is the Knight of Pentacles. Some of y'all, you know, summer's here, okay, guys? Some of y'all about to go on vacation. And you're going to go to, like, um, Bora Bora and Belize and Brazil, okay? And there's beautiful open bodies of water. You know, these lakes, these river falls, these fucking ponds and beaches and shit. And, um... Your masculine, he wants to see you skinny dip. He wants to see you skinny dip. There's something about him seeing you just free and fucking naked and wild and shit and just out there swimming like a fish, you know? And as you're swimming, yeah, you know what he's looking at. He's looking at that ass that's tooted up. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at them damn titties when you're floating on your back and shit. He's like, damn, yo, that's a, that's my queen. You know what I'm saying? Like He just, he loves you guys so much. Okay, the masculine energy loves the feminine energy, and he wants to pull up and he wants to join you in the water. Okay, and he wants to fuck you in the water. Okay, he even wants to, he's dreaming of pulling up on a house. I'm on a house. Why? So, so some of y'all about to get a house, okay, or he maybe he just pulled up to the house. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm weak. Oh, no, he's dreaming of not only fucking you in this natural body of water. But he wants to pull up on you riding a horse. Yeah, he's trying to pull up like the real, like the Knight of Pentacles. Like he's trying to really pull up like that knight. Like I'm that guy. Like I'm your guy. And he wants to just get off the horse, you know, park the horse, join in, take his, uh, take his drawers off, take his shit off, step in that water with him, with you. And and I said him too. So see, yeah, some of y'all are gay, gay relationships. Shout out to the gays, okay? Period. Okay. And, um, yeah, their partner wants to pull up on a fucking horse, join you in the water, and fuck you in the water, okay? Now, the next card that's coming out here is the, okay, I love this card. This is the Six of Wands, okay? So, the Six of Wands, let me cover her ass, okay? Look, the Six of Wands is for the ass lovers, okay? So, some of y'all really love your person's ass. <laughs> this girl here, she has the, it's not the biggest ass, you know? It's actually, like, a really, like, a size, size 5, 6, size 7, 8. It's a really, uh you know, a nice size ass, it's a nice size ass, you know, at least it ain't flat, but even that, shout out to the flat ass girls too, you know, listen, y'all men don't give a fuck about that, as long as they can fuck that pussy, they like, y'all, that's my bitch, flat ass and all, okay, period, embrace your flat ass, if you don't like your flat ass, go enhance yourself, it, it is what it is, look, God wants you to be happy, healthy, and safe, so do your research about BBLs, Find the perfect doctor for yourself. Make sure they don't got no depths on their fucking hand, okay? Because you ain't trying to fuck up your life, okay? Make sure you like the, you you check out all their, their work their work that they've done. You understand what I'm saying? And go get you a brand new ass, period, okay? So, um, yeah. So, this per your person loves your ass, okay? Regardless of what type of ass you got. Flat ass, five, 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 size 5, 6, 7, 10, 14, BBW queen. Who the fuck gives a fuck? They love that ass, okay? So, keep tooting that shit up for them. And, yeah, make them eat it, too. Fuck out of here. You're not just going to be, uh... <laughs> 
you're not just gonna be rubbing on my ass and you know fucking my ass. You gonna you gonna eat that shit up too? Yeah, I gotta eat the booty like grocery. Yeah, so maybe some of y'all need to um get your ass ate too because I know I've spoken to a lot of women before. Um, well, I've spoken to a lot of men about their women because y'all know I used to do escorted business, right? So I used to ask these men, what is the problem? Why do you cheat? You know why? What what is your wife not fulfilling? Like what is what your girlfriend not doing for you that you feel like you need to come see me? You understand? So they used to tell me that yeah my girl man she don't like her pussy eh? i don't know ever since i met her she don't like it but she loved it i could fuck her all night which way this way but she don't like her pussy eh? i'm like really wow okay you know but no judgment here i'm just i was just shocked because me i like my pussy eh? my ass ate suck my titties and all that suck my toes my neck mm -hmm, all of that shit okay so um yeah so yeah and then i'm i'll speak to other people and i'm like um so why are you seeing, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I'm curious about shit like that. Especially when I was in the escorting business, I wanted to know why do they cheat? So me, I was basically performing a, a study, a study on my clients. Why are you cheating? What's the problem? Why are you cheating on your girlfriend? Do you love your girlfriend? They say yes. Do you love your wife? They say yes. Then why are you cheating on her? Oh, because she don't do this. She don't do that. I'm like, wow. Okay, now I understand. See, some of y'all feminists, you have to open yourself up. Literally, open your legs up and let your man eat your pussy. Open that ass, okay? And let your ass get ate, period. Y'all need to really stop it. But y'all are worried about these men cheating. They stray those. The, the bitches are cheating. Cause they, you know, whatever. You're not fucking them good enough, hard enough, rough enough. Y'all have to ask your partners what do they like, what they don't like. So you can know. So you can do it. So you can provide that shit for them. You know? You think you know your person. You know If you're not sitting down having deep, intimate conversations with each other, you don't really know your person, guys. You don't. You think you know them. Oh, I've been with her for 15 years. I know her. We've been... We shit. We, we, we just hit the fifth anniversary. I know everything about my wife. No, you don't. No, you don't. And for ladies, too. Oh, I've been with him for 25 years. Y'all, we've been married since high school. Okay? But do you talk to your man about has his sexual preferences have changed? What he like? Do he want to try something new? What did he need you to do to fulfill him? No. So that's why these people become straight cats and straight dogs because y'all are not talking to your people. All right? God bless. So, yeah. So some of y'all are ass lovers. Okay, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Some of y'all are dealing with an emperor, okay? This emperor here, he's the head motherfucker in charge. He's the CEO, the boss. He, he all of that shit, okay? Um, he has his own business, businesses. He's really that big boss energy, big dick energy too. So some of y'all like big dick, okay? You don't have to, okay? But that big dick energy, you know really what that means? That doesn't mean that a person actually has big dick, okay? Let me tell you, because so, people be talking like, yeah, big dick energy. Yeah, it ain't all about the actual big phallic of it all. Big dick energy means confidence, that's what it means. Big dick energy means somebody's confident as fuck in whatever they got and whoever they are. That's what bit me. I got big dick energy and I don't have a dick. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm confident. I know who I am. I know what I want, what I don't want, what I like, what I don't like. Yeah, that's that big dick energy. You understand? So, yeah. So, uh, this emperor that y'all are dealing with, <laughs> they got big dick energy, okay? And they, they love you so much. Some of y'all masculines have... They, they want to get an ice sculpture of your body, um, maybe for a party, or they want to get a statue created for the house. They love your body. This woman here, she is just, man, he made his feminine into a statue, and, and, and he has it in the backyard. And um, he made it into a water fountain, or if this is an ice sculpture, or just a regular statue. And he just loves to look at when he looks at that shit, he just be his me. He some of y'all masculines love, they think y'all are so sexy. They do. They think, oh my god, they think y'all the sexiest fucking bitch on the planet. You need to know that, okay? This motherfucker wants to get a statue of your ass. Like, like having you in the flesh ain't good enough. He wanna get a fucking statue so when you ain't there, he can look at your ass. <laughs> I love that. I love that guys. Okay, so the next card that's coming out in the upright is King of Wands in the upright. Okay, this motherfucker here, um, he loves intimacy, all right? He loves to hug you, hold your hand. Um, he likes when you sit on his lap. This motherfucker here, he looks all big and macho, but he, in reality, he's just a fucking care bear, you know? He loves intimacy. 
All right, so some of y'all, um, some of y'all masculine, they look real big, buff, and macho, but y'all, you know when y'all be home and shit, feminines, y'all know, y'all know that your masculine, he's just a big baby, okay? So that's what this card is signifying for me, and he loves when y'all guys just walk around naked. He just loves looking at your ass, okay? Yeah, your ass and your overall body, period, okay? Okay, also, your masculine, some of y'all masculine, the masculine energies here, um, they love... Uh, BDSM bondage and, and all that shit okay so he wants you to get on all fours like a cat he wants you to meow he wants you to say meow yeah he wants you to meow he want to grab your hair and he wants to smack that ass he wants you to toot that ass up and he has this uh this um what is this called this um oh my god what is it called a whip oh yeah he has this whip he wants to literally whip your ass and um just know okay your ancestors are watching you <laughs> The ancestors in this, look at this shit. Look at the ancestors. Look, y'all know, know y'all see the ancestors. They like, oh my God, we never did that back in our day. And look, she likes it. <laughs> the ancestors are watching y'all, okay? Just know. And they like, they they are shocked because they never did this type of shit. You know what I mean? This is this is really this new millennial shit. This, the, the millennials here, you know, these generations, we are so sexually fluid, you know? We don't care about gender gender roles and, you know, we don't give up. We, you know, we're LGBTQIA and all of that shit. And we, we don't care, you know? We just want to be free, you know? And our ancestors, when they watch us, they're just such, they look... They're just happy for us. They're so happy for us. They're just <laughs> so amazed. And they're like, wow, the, the world has really changed. <laughs> oh, shout out to the ancestors, okay? Yes, the angels and ancestors of the highest white light. Okay, ooh, yes, okay. Now, this card right from y'all. I'm eating my fruit. We almost done. Two more cards. Okay. This card right here is of a feminine. I don't know if you was the main bitch or the side bitch, right? I don't know. You got to apply it where it resonates. Use your intuition. But the masculine moved on, right, to the other woman. And you are spying. You're spying on this couple, okay? You're spying on this new couple. You're crying. She's wiping her eyes with the handkerchief. And um, she's pissed. You know, maybe she, I don't know, maybe she was fucking him for a long time. Maybe she was with him for a long time. I don't fucking know. But um, she's pissed, man. She got her titties hanging out. She's crying. She done broke a couple things. There's some broke shit on the floor. And she just said, all right, God wants you to know that everything's going to be okay. If some, some of y'all just got your heart broke. Somebody left you. They don't love you. Whatever. God is saying breathe. Okay, first of all, go meditate. Go meditate and pray. Um, also, forgive yourself, okay? It's not your... Listen, sometimes we tend to think that, oh, somebody left me. It's my fault. No, it's not your fault. If somebody wants to leave you, just... Just let them leave. Like, literally, go open the door and say, okay, bye, period, okay? Like, don't be stressing about that shit. Somebody want to leave you, let them leave. Trust me. If you was the baddest thing that he ever had and he know he will ever have, let him go. <laughs> and here's the fucking, here's the, here's the tips and tricks, ladies. Masculine too, okay? Whoever uh, needs this advice, you take it, okay? They going up because they always come back. Mm -hmm. They come crawling like a fucking baby. Baby, I'm sorry, I love you. La, 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 la. And this is the fucking key and trick right here. You ready? Don't take them back. Period. If somebody has the strength to walk out the door, then you need to have the strength to keep the motherfucking door closed. Period. Let that motherfucker suffer. He knew you was the baddest bitch. He knew that. He knew you was the baddest, the, the, the baddest guy in town. All right? You know, these motherfuckers know what they be doing, but they try to play you. All right? They try to play you because they think you're a fool. So you have to show them really who's boss. Don't open that fucking door. I don't care if y'all got to get an order of protection. You better do something because you ain't fucking with this person. They should have knew better. You should have known better. Yeah. Monica energy. All right? I don't know what sign. What sign, what sign is Monica? I got to look that up. Let me see. Hold on, we got one more card. Let me just see what's her sign. That's very significant. Everything is significant, okay, guys? Y'all think about getting in a tarot? You have to pay attention to the time, the signs and synchronicities of everything. Okay? Monica's birthday. What's her birthday? <gasps> no. She's a Scorpio. Wow. I thought she was a Libra. <laughs> 
Now, October 24th. Yeah, that's a Scorpio. All right, let's do the last card and let me get out of here. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you. Yeah, she's a Scorpio. Hunt and Drake. Hunt and Drake are Scorpios. Okay, let's go. Last card. Oh, my God. Not this fucking card. Lord of mercy. So, yeah, some of y'all part of 144 chosen ones. Um, 144 on the, on, the, on, the, on the timer. Look it up. 144 um, angel number. All right, last card here is the Eight of Swords. Okay, now what I see here is that y'all are in relationships, marriages, situationships, whatever. Y'all are on your couch and y'all are sitting here making out. Y'all about to fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know how you know how we you know how we get it popping. Start off with that intimacy, then you get into that foreplay, then you get into that all-around stimulation and penetration. Okay, period. Praise the God. Praise God. Okay. Now, somebody's spying on y'all. Okay. It looks like it's the devil. Okay, it could be a Capricorn. He's spying on y'all. Mm -hmm. Maybe he used to fuck this feminine Or he used to be with this feminine Or maybe I don't know or Maybe he always won I don't know It's something like that or It doesn't have to be a, a Capricorn though It could be just the devil Literally Somebody that's in devilish energy It could be any sign But initially when I saw this person Let me show you uh -huh. well, I'm going to leave it back here you see these two people here making love on the couch? You see that person back there? Yeah, it looks like a fucking a demon, okay? So somebody's spying on y'all. It could be a fucking entity, a demonic entity. All right, so just protect your love, okay, period? Because you know haters are always watching. Okay? Because they, they love to ruin some shit. You, your haters, their job is to ruin some shit, okay? So that's why you guys have to protect your love, period? Okay, guys. Clearly, I can't stop eating these fruits. My God, they're so sour and juicy. Praise God. And, um, okay, guys, I hope this helps. If y'all want me to do more of these sex readings, let me know. I'm going to incorporate some different things into it, you know? Maybe some index cards and shit of positions and just some different things. You know what I'm saying? Make it more interesting. But, yeah, I love you guys, man. I hope this helped. All right? I'm sending you all love and light, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace and love. Bye, my my uh December babies. <laughs>